Stewart got the big run, uh, and um, I was real concerned about that. I, we were concerned about Stewart anyway. If we weren't going to be able to stop him, we weren't going to have a chance. Uh, the quarterback, we knew the guy was going to start. He, he did a good, good enough things to, to really keep us off balance. I thought they did a very good job of we were just trying to find a ball curve, but I thought 18 to 14, I thought we were battling pretty good. Uh, second half, I can't uh, explain what happened. I, I don't know, you know, we, we didn't play good enough defense, and that's just all there is to it. Uh, you know, we, we, um, we're, we're usually a better defensive team than that, uh, and we just didn't get it done. Uh, you know, our defense throughout the year has done a pretty good job. We just didn't get it done today in the second half. That combined with the turnovers, you know, that our offense did, uh, you know, you're not going to have any shot at all at a game. You know, I'm proud of our football team. You know, it's uh, when you lose like that, you've got to be careful, you know, because you got to be careful to define your whole team by 30 minutes of football. And that's something I think is very, very important. I don't want to do that as a coach, and I don't want our players to do that. You know, we wanted to win as bad as anybody today. We worked very hard. I don't think I would have done anything differently. Uh, I thought we came out in the first half, you know, ready to play. We did play. I thought, you know, decent football, pretty good game. A high thought it would unfold pretty even. Uh, but again, I, I, you know, maybe I need to say something different at halftime. Uh, obviously, I didn't do a very good job there. Uh, but, you know, Oregon just played better than we did. As simple as that, it was obvious. Uh, they controlled our line of scrimmage. Uh, we couldn't run the ball, and they did run the ball. And when you, when you get down to it, that's, uh, uh, that was a big thing you know, with the football game. And then they were able to hit a lot of wheel routes, and they, they exploited our secondary a uh, number of times when they did. When they did get out and throw, they threw on the perimeter, threw some things there. And, and then, you know, offensively, we didn't know. We had a good game as well. So, you know, I thought Delver, Delver punted well. Uh, he kicked well. Uh, those things were positive. And, um, you know, other than that, uh, you know, not, not, a lot of, not a lot of great things. But uh, I'm proud of the football team. And I'm proud of being the head football coach here in South Florida. You know, I love our school, love our program. I love our players. I really do. And I'm very proud of them. Uh, just they play very well in the second half. Questions? Do you have anything? Coach? Talk about Oregon's offense. Did they come out looking differently than what you thought they might look like? Uh, you know, they ran a little bit more boots, probably than what we expected, uh, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, we had a lot, a lot of boots off the play action there off the Stewart. I thought they did a pretty good job Bell there. We knew they'd run the wide receiver screens. We knew we run up uh, you know, the screens of Stewart. Uh, we worked on all those things. Uh, we just looked so slow in the second half to me. Everybody was put on islands, and we didn't, we didn't, uh, we, we just didn't play like we played in the past against situations like that against spread offense. Uh, I, I don't really know why. Uh, you know, I, I thought they executed extremely well. A lot of times that happens when you don't force six on defense. You know, and. Um, but, you know, we're a better football team, I think, than that. I think we've seen us play. And, uh, you know, but it was such a change from one half to the next. I, I, uh, that one's hard to figure out. It really is. I, I don't think I could mess it up that bad at halftime with like, my motivational speeches. I obviously did. Uh, but we just, we just, for some reason, didn't play very second half. Didn't come out with fire and passion and, and uh, didn't play very well. I, I, uh, that's hard to figure because that's usually not the case with South Florida football. It usually hasn't been. You know, that's not usually us. Anything else? Coach, Coach, nine and four, when you look back at this, you say you don't want that 30 minutes to define this football team. Right. Looking at this, is this still a positive season for you? Well, yeah. I mean, you know, I think so. I think if people said it wasn't a positive season, I'd be a little disappointed. I mean, we, we never won more than nine games in, in 11 years. I think that's decent. Um, getting to the Sun Bowl, I mean, uh, you know, our guys deserve it, you know? Uh, I don't think there's any question about that. You know, I, I think with the heck of a season, you know? Uh, we don't have any excuses, though. I don't want to make sure you understand that. And there's no excuses about you know, how long we've been around and all that stuff. We've been long around long enough to play good football. Yeah, we all know that. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was a thought it was a good season. You know, I, I did, you know. It's hard to win nine games. Much less 10 or 11 or 12. I mean, you look around the country, how many people won nine? Oregon just won their nine. That's pretty good. Oregon, would you say Oregon had a good season? I, I would. 
They just won nine games like us. Coach, is Matt Rookie okay? Or? Yeah, he's all right. Yeah, he did pretty good. You know, he, 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 we held him up and, uh, you know, we, we just sit down. You know, he, yeah, he's fine. Anything else? Coach, can you talk about their offensive line being as big as it was? Was that a big part of not being able to get pressure on the well, I don't think size is a big thing, you know, but they certainly handled our D-line for the most part. I thought they did a pretty good job there, let's, let's be honest. You know, they ran the ball. Uh, they don't not only handle our offensive line, and our, our linebackers need to find its place. Secondary, all of us, you know, we're all, you know, we when we, when we play, when we don't play with a defense like that, it's, it's uh, coaches and players. We all take the blame together. You know, we certainly did do a good job on defense and put our guys in good enough positions and that our guys probably didn't play as good either. You know, you got it's all together. Uh, I don't think it's just so much their size, but they did handle our guys. They, they were handling their guys pretty good. We I, I, I think our guys could play better than they did today, you know, in the second half. I think they can. The running game was such a big part of the three wins at the end of the year. What did they do to take that away even early in the game? Well, you, you know, um, uh, like I said, they controlled our offensive line. I thought they definitely did that. I don't think there's any question. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, then when you get behind a little bit, even for, I mean, I mean halftime, still, you know, you still should want to run the ball. And we knew early we weren't going to be able to run the ball. They just controlled our line of scrimmage, our offensive line. <laughs> well, I don't know. They just did. You know, we weren't knocking anybody off the line. And they were just better than us today on the line of scrimmage. Uh, that happens, you know. It's not the end of the world. It kind of feels kind of yucky like right now. But it's not the, you know, the sun will come up tomorrow, we'll keep moving, we'll keep trying to build and do the right things, you know, you know, again, I, I, they just say just flip this line of scrimmage. Will this be a major thing that you use in the offseason for motivation? Are we pointing to this? Uh, you know, I don't think so, probably. You know, we know we have to get better as a program anyway, you know, uh, you know we're going we're gonna to work hard whether we want or not, you know. Like I said before the game, you know, is, is winning or losing a bowl game big? I think it is because I, I enjoy myself more when we win. Uh, so that part of it's there. I, I think that you can look at anything you want with recruiting. The recruits see us you know, not play as good. They always see they come in and play right away. So you get always different angles. I just go back for our players because you want to win. You know, you really want to win games. And I knew Oregon was a darn good football team. I knew it would be a huge feather in our cap if we could beat Oregon. And, uh, and I thought we had a shot in the third quarter. And we had to win with the third quarter. I, I just I can't. Uh, I don't have the answer right now. I wish I did, but I really don't. I don't know. You know, our guys usually rise up better than that. Do you think Oregon was downgraded in people's eyes because we quarterback? I mean, were they sort of underestimated? Well, I knew they'd do better offensively than what they had because they had four weeks for a, a, a young quarterback. And like I said, I knew that would happen, so that didn't surprise me. Uh, I don't know. I didn't. I don't know what other people think. I know I didn't downgrade them. I, I said all along, I thought, I thought it would come down to the end. It didn't come down to the end. They whooped us right in the third quarter. The game was over. You know, usually we battle a little bit better towards the end of the game. How do I feel for our seniors in defense? I mean, I, I mean, when we lose like that, it's just on the defense. I don't think our offense played good enough either. So you want to ask me how do I feel about our seniors in offense also? I, I said earlier, I don't feel good for those guys that we could have won. I think I said that earlier, right? Mm -hmm. uh, anything else? At what point in the second half did you feel like things were kind of falling apart? Pretty early, you know. I mean, when we, uh, you know, they when they really moved the ball, see, we we got the ball, we didn't do anything with it. <clears throat> That's always disappointing. They got the ball, and I believe we stopped them. And I really felt pretty good about some of the adjustments we were making. And then I think we got the ball, we didn't do anything again. I don't know if we threw the turnover or not. But it was like when a second or third series, they went right down on our defense. We had, we had a couple guys uh, didn't uh, didn't follow through on the calls, didn't go where they're supposed to go. Uh, but even so, they moved the ball right down our defense. And then right then I knew, oh boy, you know we're gonna have to rise up in a big way right now uh, because of how easy they went down the field. And I just uh, big play after big play and. Um, uh, you know, I knew right then we were, we were going to have to do something to right the ship on defense. And then when we threw the interception for a touchdown, I knew it was happening on both sides of the ball. And you certainly can't throw, can't do the turnovers like that. Uh, you know, so we, we really, 
We didn't play on either side. You know, I can't just put on a defense. I mean, uh, either side we didn't play real well. And, you know, I don't, I, again, I don't really know why. Because, you know, we came out, we played pretty hard first half. I don't know what, uh, I don't have the answer. Second half, that doesn't happen to me very much in our program very often. Very, uh, you know, out of over 110, 120 games, there might be maybe three or four times that we've come out and done that. Uh, it's very unusual for our guys to not, not play as well like that.